Wow, so, aren't you just a sportsy kid? Hey, man, I, I like being athletic in high what school. What happened? How'd you get into esports? I was playing Counter Strike through all that time as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I made that uh, split decision. I remember I missed a high school tournament to go to a Counter-Strike tournament. My team wasn't too happy. But you know what? It's high school sports, and this is Counter-Strike as we move into map three made. right now. Mistakes were made. OK, so yes, Complexity are onto the CT side. Pistols to start. Maltov into the window, and that's going to allow MIBR to really push down into mid. In fact, Phelps is going to jump right into this window while it's still warm. It's an A hit, actually. Even after showing that they have all the power oh. to go mid to B, they are now flattened. Sick with the first two kills to start things off after a very, very quiet overpass. Taco hucks the bomb <laughs> into jungle and then settles down with it again. 3v5 is what it started with. You're back to a 3v4. You've done a lot of damage, though, against MIBR. And they've run out of ideas of how to pull this off. And Polzera could win this fight, as a matter of fact, because Def is real wounded out there. He's lucky to be alive at that point. Oh, oh the bomb dropped. That's where it gets scary now, because Cold Zero's into this 1v3 here, Dallas. We actually saw a great clutch out of him against Mouse Sports earlier in a previous tournament that just passed. But Cold Zero right now will be playing by this bench in this 1v3 situation. He Let's see if he's have, able to close this out. He may have been spotted as well from Sick, who is catwalk. Doesn't no, look like no, it. No, they haven't. Everybody's still clearing their angles. They haven't cleared bench. They're going to leave that one for last with the They're apartments. They're not going to clear bench. Well, the, the bomb's not planted for apartments. Cold Zero, I mean... They haven't cleared out bench. He gets an easy one tap on the first one, looking for the second, but he can't quite find the next one against Sick. Great round from Sick, as he was so quiet, like I mentioned, but he ends up with a 4K to start things off on the pistol. Yeah, a great round coming up from Sick. MIBR making it look like they were actually about to pull that one off, and I feel like if Taco had made his way into that B bomb site and it was actually a two on three, that could have been a much different round as Ta uh, Cold Zero actually left it to fight that off yeah. by himself, takes down the bomb planter, but not really able to do much else from that point on. Well, Jason said in the pre-show that this is probably going to be some sloppy Counter-Strike, and I would call that pretty sloppy. I, I like that MIBR yeah. was able to adapt and actually get the bomb into the B site from the CT side of market and get it through there. That is, that's something else. Uh, yeah. We've seen them adapt and overcome multiple times before. MIBR is actually going to go for the Superman buy here, and we're going to see three AKs on the field on the back of Phelps, Fur, and Cold Zero. So really good opportunity for MIBR to upset complexity right off the bat and tie this one up at one all. Taco with a deagle. All he needs to do is get one. Just one. Oh, and he's gifted that. Def did a double take at him. Looking for the next oh. as well. Taco coming up massive. Suddenly you've got four rifles on the Superman buy. It suddenly is fleshed out into almost a full buy. Stanislaw is able to knock Phelps out of contention, but he was a player that was aggressed all the way to jungle. Complexity don't really have any legs to stand on. Shazam and Stanislaw are both knocked below 20 HP. He might even only see a save. Yeah, this is there a it save is. call. Yep. I mean, that's a, that's a taste of their own medicine, though, because MIBR in the first map were winning pistols but losing four spies. I mean, Taco right there. The Deagle, no armor as well. Able to pick up that first kill, and then the second one is Sick not being able to connect at all. If Sick even shot Taco once, that aim punch would have kicked in. Taco w pro most likely wouldn't have been able to convert on that frag, and Complexity would have had the opportunity to stay within the round. But because Taco finds two with the Deagle... I mean, at that point, Complexity very hard-pressed to do much, and MIBR are going to tie this one up right off the bat. Yeah, they got bumped out of that round instantly by a deagle of all things. And now you still get, you get such a big bonus there from MIBR because, you're sure, you're forced by... Even a, it's Superman buy, so you expect a couple players that are especially unarmored. Taco being one of them, he donated a rifle to help this effort out. He gets two kills, and he gets a rifle right back into his hands. Four survive on that round for MIBR, and they have still, I would say they have a weapon advantage in the last round on the Superman buy, but now they still have it again because complexity are just going to remain with what weapons they had saved in the previous round, kind of fill in the gaps as well with, a, I believe, maybe a scout and another eagle. It does look like to begin this round, it will be MIBR Cold. heading very quickly towards middle. Up catwalk as well. You're going to see Cold Zero actually make his way into that cat room with the rest of the complexity side now kind of squandering, kind of just trying to gather their laurels as MIBR has completely taken over mid here to begin the round. Yeah, this, I mean, they know that somebody could have gotten their way up. So you have a player in window that's looking up towards the ladder room. Ye and Def are both coming across Catwalk right now. They Complexity really wants to evict anybody from Catwalk. They have a lot of presence here, but Cold draws first blood against Ye. 
It might be R coming from underneath out here as well. Shazam maybe gets oh. boosted up. Cold Zero, I mean, he was playing hyper fast to start things off. And just as Stanislaw goes Shazam. up into the ladder, Shazam gets both of them as those players were coming out from underneath into mid. Yeah, this is going to keep complexity with the opportunity to win this round. Now the bomb will be being picked up by Taku, who's making his way through T spawn as Cold Zero does get taken down by Stanislaw as well as Shazam dropping Fallen now. Just like that, it's going to be Taco in a one on three. Well, got the first, and they now spot him as well. So this is a really dangerous move. He's got 30 seconds to stay with, and instead he ends up taking the fight on the front lines. That's enough time, 30 seconds, to go all the way back around through T-Spawn and get to the A site or B site if he so chooses, but they would hear him making that move. Uh, but if he wanted to go right down the gut into mid and take the fast approach into the A site, he would easily be spotted on the players with a yep. really advantageous well, position on He cap. also had full utility, though, so he could have done a little bit more with that utility. If he did choose to go towards that connector, towards the A bomb site, he could have Molotov'd off Cat, smoked uh, off Cat as well, but he chose to move towards that catwalk. That's where he ends up taking the fight, ends up going down, and Complexity are going to get their second on the board, and we're going to see yet another force fight coming up from the MIBR side as Taco is going to take down Sick. They're going to win the fights over here towards the B site. Stanislaw's on catwalk, so he can make some kind of effort. Spots the first drop in, but then a flashbang comes immediately back at him. And he's so disconnected from both Shazam and Death. His position there was really, I mean, yeah, you get a kill. You still lose the site. It'd almost be better to just back off and then give yourself the option. Okay, do we do a 3v5 retake, or do we just end up th saving three guns that can buy for the two? It looks like it's just going to continue to cater back and forth and back and forth for the time being. Especially if Complexity are able to save these two weapons. Okay, are they going to be able to save these though? Because Fur right now has made his way towards T spawn. Does look like he might be able to find Shazam here, who's peering off towards that B side of T spawn right now. Fur moving up this staircase. He sees Shazam. Shazam gets the better room. Yeah. However, and MIBR though, still will be able to tie this one up. They lose one member in the round, Complexity able to save an M4, able to save that op on the back of Shazam. Most likely, I could imagine Shazam getting very aggressive towards Connector, maybe even pushing up A Palace or B Palace to try and get some type of ground right off the bat for the Complexity side. Yeah, so those two weapons do give them a shot. But that shot is getting, it seems like it's getting narrower and narrower, especially with MIBR winning rounds those two rounds, healthier and healthier. Uh, so they had four survive both ways, but this time they have better guns to start with on that one. So now it's getting uh, more of a task for Complexity to be able to continue this staggered back yeah. and forth fight. Uh, your defender's on the A site. Shazam's op is there. Sick has a scout as well. He's on the triple box. So you're going to need to just line and tag if you're if you're the scout from sick and give some space for Shazam. Uh, Shazam might get caught here, I do believe. If that smoke fades early, but it won't. Shazam playing aggressive towards the ramp misses that first shot, Dallas, and this is going to be huge as Shazam does take down Phelps. What else can he do? Well, Fallen and Fur, they get the kills. There was a tag there from Sick, so he's still in the fight. And you see three players from MIBR are wounded, and the bomb's not quite planted yet. There's a gap in the smoke for Stanislaw. He's thinking about this idea, but if Fallen touches this bomb down, he's going to end up getting double peaked. Right now, he doesn't really have anybody that can stare down Ticket Booth for him on this angle that would be directly behind him. He's got a player in Palace, got a player that's over on the sandwich side. He ends up getting peaked straight up anyways without even putting the bomb to the deck. So interestingly enough, Complexity actually go for that peak without waiting for any kind of sound cue that MIB have disarmed one player. Yeah, Taco now not flashing for Fur here to peek this staircase. This is an opportunity for Stanislaw to maybe pick up a very easy kill. And he's going to do exactly that. Taking down Fur now, it's onto Cold Zero. Can he trade this one out? And he does. At the same time, Taco taking down Ye now. It's on to Sick. Yeah, they know where Sick is. And if Sick decides to relocate, what a shot! He picked him off. Now it's 1v1, 20 seconds left, and it's going to be the onus on Taco to get down in the site and try and make this messy. He's got the bomb out in front of him, and Sick has one shot. It has to hit the target of the dome against Taco. He decides that that first, one's not, that first plant noise is not worth it to make the peek out. Yep. So, I mean... Uh, it's, it'd be crazy even for Sick to go out and pick up a gun on that site, but that might be his best shot. Instead, he jumps up on top of the box for a better view in, and instead he's buried six feet under. Okay, two to three is our scoreline as complexity off of that force bite. We'll be tapping out now. Are they don't have to tap out necessarily. I definitely suggest the yeah, tap out. I mean, they got they got four kills on that round. 
No? Let's see. All right. Yep. They're not. All right. You're just the, you're the man. Pistol. <laughs> just a couple pistols. I mean, if they do if they do force up again and they fall, it's just going to get into a really rough spot where MIBR takes a two-round spread, yeah. and then they have to save, and then becomes a three-round spread. It's just not a good look. Right now, they can give up the two-round spread and then head into the next round, hopefully, to bring themselves within one. And it is a B stack. All bodies present. You've even got Stanislaw that's been boosted up into the ninja box position. And MIBR just chilling out. Enjoying the sun out there, getting a tan, uh, using some utility to make sure that the angles are clear. But if they just do their due diligence, throw some typical smokes into the A site or something, get a, a poke and a prod into that site, they will recognize that it's going to be a B stack or some kind of presence that's floating around the map, some kind of big mass conga line. Yeah, Fur now watching his back towards lower B here, just waiting for any CTs that might aggress. Complexity stacking in that B bomb site is going to allow MIBR to get into this A site uncontested. But will Complexity be able to pick up even a couple kills to keep that economy on the MIBR side low? Well, here's the thing. They're able to aggress into the A site, and if you're this far up, Cold Zera, and you had people that were rounding the corner default as well, if you haven't seen anybody yet, Mm -hmm. On a round that you likely know it's an eco. If you haven't seen a soul yet, it's already like this has to be some kind of stack up towards the B site. And there's no reason for MIBR to hunt right now. So they will just settle down. I would hope them to just pin them in. Yeah, you're I mean, seeing Fur Watch's lower B flank. Colzero's made his way into the CT spawn area of the map as well. And this is just patience from MIBR. Yeah, they, don't, they don't have to risk anything here. Just Same thing with complexity, though. No need to give them any more money. Right. Right. They can just stay within B. As we all know, CT still get money with even if they lose the round and right. people survive. So for complexity, I do understand the reasoning for not hunting with these USPs. And MIBR as well, not trying to lose an AK. Throw Molotov, and it looks like all will survive at the end of the round. Uh, I mean, giving kill rewards to AKs isn't that big of a deal, um, but I mean, there's more to gain there from Complexity than there is for MIBR to gain. So I, I, w I would rather have seen Complexity just kind of try and attempt run something. out and try and kill somebody because you, you remove the AK, there's 27, that player had armor, likely utility as well. There's uh, 35, uh, f uh, 37, probably 4,000 some bucks you can manage to take out of one player's hands if you just get one guy. Definitely, definitely. And in response, I mean, for them, they were only going to give 1,500 worth of kills if all five of them do die. But yeah. to start this round off, Shazam will be taking down Cole Zero behind that smoke towards the top of middle. That's a good start for Complexity now, finding themselves in a five-on-four man advantage. There you go. And Complexity's rifle rounds are f finally back into their their books. You know, it's it's been this back and forth. So we're haven't they haven't even had the off yet, of course, to put into Shazam's hands. I'm fairly certain he hasn't. And you know, Fallen's probably happy with that too. He's been a pretty good rifler. We saw him rifling rather well yesterday on Overpass. Uh, yeah. We actually saw him throw an op back towards Cold Zera, if I'm not mistaken, because Cold yeah, there had was the an flashbang, yep. and so like he's adaptable. You know, he he does just fine with an AK, uh, even though he's we're very well known for an op. Okay, it does look like complexity now. We'll be playing a passive approach towards this middle area of the map. It does look like MIBR favoring connector now, as the bomb is solo outside of A, just hanging out by himself. It'll be three members on MIBR heading up towards this connector, looking to penetrate this A bomb site. Wow, no resistance again. This is looking strange to MIBR, because very similar to the, the anti eco they just played before too. Sick dumps a smoke. He must have spotted somebody or had some indication what was going on. He's now at the default box, moving back towards the fire. Firebox. He's got a back line to these T side. Got a good headshot against Phelps too after picking up the first kill. Is it enough though? It does seem to be. With 20 some seconds, suddenly complexity are going to end up with the extra man. But the bomb's planted on the safe side of the triple box. Two players, actually all three players, coming around the ticket booth side. Fallen's ankle selling out of position. Oh. Yay! Almost fields two out, and now it's a one v two for Stanislaw. If both MIBR players can get out of this spot, but the bomb's been touched, so they're actually baited out into this position. A good spam for Stanislaw, hoping to find that headshot against Taco, but he has to again force Taco out of his, his foxhole. Yeah, Taco playing this very well now, not biting on that tap. He should be peeking out here in a moment. Stanislaw able to take him down. Will he be able to get no. the defuse? Oh, he's, got a kit. he's got a kit. He's gone back to the bomb. Ooh, it's this one's going to be close. close. I don't think he's got it. Oh, he's he got it. He does have it. A tenth of a second. One tenth of a second. 
as he just steals his nerves and decides to cut the yellow wire. Yeah, and that's and about as close as it can get. Yeah, well, it, 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 it get down to one frame, which is what, uh, eight thousand eight thousandths of a second? I think so. I've Regardless, though, still only because of Reddit, I've seen that before, <laughs> where it gets down to like eight thousandths of a second. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, that's tight. Well, complexity now a very costly round for them to actually come out with the win on here. You're seeing them buy back up into this round, and they're not going to have too much money to do so. On the other end, we're looking at MIBR and what their money situation is. It's not much better, Dallas. Looking at MIBR, if they fall in this round, we will see an eco come out. So we have this economic neutrality between both these teams that essentially whoever wins this round is going to be forcing the other team onto either a save or a forced buy. Well, we saw all the momentum in the world in the last map of Overpass, and suddenly nobody's able to get any kind of wind in their sails. Yeah. It's just been stumped, stumped, stumped. But we do have the first off on the field. Fallen is wielding that one, so maybe this is the difference maker. Maybe this is what pushes MIBR, the ones that are able to afford this first, and then credited with the first momentum, possibly. All right, MIB are heading very quickly towards lower B. Fur leading this charge, going right towards this connector right now. That is great out of Fur. Look how much control he's gained for his T side. Yep. This is the second time that MIBR have been granted so much access to this A site one way or the other. Has the first, that's deaf underneath the palace. Fur, he's got nowhere to hide. It's a really awkward spot right there. He knew he had a player in front of him, and he had players on the A site behind him looking for the trade. Look at They will now. get it. It's ended up going to be a uh, probably some new dental plans dealt by this Mag-7. He misses the first. He gets oh. the collateral, the two for one, and the third as Yay. well. Yay, handing out a lot of damage out there with the Mag-7. They checked it, too. It's an advantage to the T-side players when you check that angle. And look, you can usually see the shoulder of the CT Generally, first. or you see the barrel of the gun overextending just a little bit. But because Ye had that Mag-7, it was such a shorter barrel on the weapon that yeah. he's able to tuck himself in. Taco even comes out, gets shot at, and doesn't even look right away. He doesn't even realize that Ye's right beside him. I thought Ye was going to get traded after not getting that first kill, but he ends up getting a double, ends up taking <laughs> yeah. down Fallen at the end of it, recovering the AWP, and like I said, MIBR, because they lost the round, because the economy was so low, they're forced onto this semi-save. Yeah, and that op gets handed over to Shazam, most importantly, exactly. too. So without Fallen being able to make any art happen with that, it's Shazam's turn now. So... 4-4 four four is the score line. It's a CT-sided map, but if MIBR can continue this pace and we end up with another 8-7 like we did on Dust2, then yep. you know it'd be again MIBR with the, the advantage. We did have the first casualty a long time ago. That was Taco, as now Phelps will join him down below. And Def was looking into connector. Sure, might be able chilling. to find this, yeah. Yeah, chilling like a villain, but the rest of his team is... Uh, baiting, you know. Uh, it, Fur wasn't able to convert on that. They didn't really invest all that much into that round, so bait as you may, you're just looking for a kill or two if you could. Yeah, I mean, Fur played that very well. Uh, he waited for Def to make contact, and then he went for the wide swing, but Def pulling a great 180 off, able to take down Fur in that connector, put Complexity in the lead now with a 5-4 to four score line, and MIBR on the other hand, well, they're looking a little bit worse for wear. No op on the field on the back of Fallen right now. Shazam looks to take advantage of that with his AWP that he recovered from Fallen in a previous round. Oh, mid-aggression right now. Phelps tucks into the smoke. He hears the CTs jumping, running past him. This is dangerous. He hears them run back as well. <laughs> He's He thinks they're all around oh. him, which they absolutely are. There's really nothing Phelps can do right there. One player ran back. Fur will get the trade on the A side as they start to approach in here. Nobody at Ticket Booth side, so Taco is able to advance in here and call that, hey, nobody's coming CT side. Focus all your guns over towards that connector side and jungle in. So Fur will capitalize on that information. The AWP has now been put to the ground. And a nice shot from Stanislaw. You've got the advantage turned right back scary. to complexity. As we are going to see Cole Zero make that contact. Able to take down Def. Yay! Quickly trading that one out, and Taco now left in this 1v2. He's got a Molotov. They don't have a smoke to put out the Molotov, so there's a good opportunity for Taco to close this one out. The guns are pointing his direction. Yeah, he's committing towards this side, but oh. he still can't get it done. Even if he did manage to kill uh, he would have been Stanislaw, traded out. It, would have been it would have been traded, and it would have been diffused anyways. So complexity 
get four in a row, actually. It doesn't feel that way. MIBR are still able to do a decent amount of damage to Complexity, yeah. but right now, Complexity sits at right at that cusp of like, well, if they do lose a round, they should be able to buy one more. Not comfortably, but they would have another rifle round under their belt. Yeah, it does look like MIBR is just going to favor a little bit of pistol armor action going. Fur does have a Mac 10 you see some flashes as well as some smokes, and it does seem to me like they're going to do a hard execute on that B-bomb site. I like it if they can get in. Nades ring out around Taco. It's Ye and Stanislaw. Flashbang comes in that allows Ye to jump up onto the barrel from Van and look down range. Ooh. They've lost Stanislaw here. Ye's struggling as well with the first player that jumps over the top, and he goes down. Sick got 99, but... This is actually looking possible from MMBR. Look, Look at, Phelps. at Phelps. Oh, he's got them both. He looks for the first. Now he's got the closer range one. Well played from Phelps right there. It's suddenly a 2v1. MIBR is a little bit of a half buy on this round. Is suddenly paying dividends. They had Mac 10. They had a couple pistols coming into that round. And it just works. Ooh, Def getting spotted out now. Phelps does have an op, and he's going to take advantage of that. Taking down Def now. MIBR with a great upset round onto Complexity there. Off the flank of Phelps through that marketplace really yeah. is what tied that round together for the T side. That was really clever. I mean, they really, I mean, the bomb was spotted, so the rotations were yep. committed yep. to the B site. It's just that nobody watched the rear flank, and that CZ was perfect. It just so happened to line up perfectly, too, because the player that was furthest away towards the door side of the market was low HP. Exactly. Sure, he struggled with it, but he decides to take that player first and then work on full auto on the second player that was point blank. Smart. Colzera now moving very quickly towards Catwalk, getting himself into the words that room. Sick now makes contact is punished for it, however, as Cold Zero able to take him down. That's uh, the same strategy we've seen from MIBR before. Uh, they had pushed Cold down quickly into mid, and instead he had some assistance this time. So really, it was like a rush mid strategy where both players turned. Once they see that the elbow of Catwalk was clear, they both turned and looked at Connector, and they both laid out and took down six. So that's well played, but M Complexity need to be able to patch that one up, because if MIBR decide to continually run that strategy, Complexity won't have any anywhere to stand on. If you lose mid on Mirage, consistently it's dangerous all right and MIB are off of that first initial pick on the round just slowing it down here Def getting a little bit aggressive Ooh, fallen and Def both spot each other but it's gonna be cold zero striking nice. on catwalk thankfully Shazam is there to take down fallen now as Phelps moves in easy kill onto Def. that's gonna be the man advantage going right back to MIBR now, MIBR aren't even really committed one way or the other right now the bombs still on this catwalk and you've got a player that's over towards the a side of the ramp whether he chooses pallets or not whatever but you have uh, the man advantage for MIBR. So they have a player to burn on entry, expected so. It looks like they choose B, and Stanislaw outnumbered here heavily so. There's the burned player. It's going to be Cold Zera, a pretty expensive player to lose. Uh, so Shazam and Ye might think about this. They've got a kit. There's another kit down elsewhere on the field for Ye to be able to pick up. They started the round with two kits. Bomb should be going down here momentarily. I don't imagine Complexity is even going to go for this one as they have no presence within that B site, no info whatsoever. And yeah, you're actually going to see Ye moving back towards the top of middle, I imagine. This he's is to allow him utility. to save. Yeah, he's collecting utility and the second op too. A double op setup, something that Complexity haven't been able to use. And so he'll collect, I think he bought a, or bought, picked up a smoke off a corpse and definitely picked up that second kit yep. off of another corpse. Uh, so they're just making do with what they can, scrounging. Uh, for some supplies into the next round. Well, recovering this double op setup is massive there. Is actually Ye not able to connect onto that player on the catwalk there as Phelps was peeking his body out. And Ye actually whiffed that shot completely. But MIBR are, are going to tie this round up six apiece there. Another nice mid take from MIBR moving very quickly towards this middle area, able to find the entry frag, able to find some trades as well towards that catwalk. It seems like Complexity now, with this double op setup, are going to be looking to bring themselves back into the lead. Well, I mean, sure, you've got a double op setup, but everybody else has 2,000 bucks. Yeah, so. I'd like to see them actually spread the ops. Yeah. Send one towards the B bomb site, send one towards A, maybe towards the middle to start the round. Hopefully, you can get yourselves a couple entry kills. Maybe if the B guy gets up and towards the palace, he can shut down that entire area of the map. Yeah. And then keep those USPs possibly towards that A bomb site. So, Def has bought a zoo. And uh, I'll either see him go up into the apartments up there and hang out on that couch or see him up in the palace right on the first corner. Uh, maybe an underpass. Uh, who knows? But uh, they need some magic to happen here because there's just two P250s behind these ops. 
even though it is a quote unquote double up setup, it's nothing really for them to work with. They're standing on really, really soft ground. Four players to A, and they will put one off in Ye's hands at B solo. Okay, Ye has aggressed towards the palace, and this is what I was talking about, able to cut down this entire angle. He's going to give it up, actually, though. Oh. And then Taco's going to punish him completely for that, opening up that side of the map. The rotation is only going to be sick into that B bomb site, so he too shall fall momentarily. Sacrifice the pistols, keep the AWP. That's the only option that Complexity have right now. Uh, maybe go pick up Cold Zero's gun. I saw Cold Zero again was given free access into mid. There was the Zeus from Def, not quite long enough uh, connectors and prongs to be able to reach out for fur. And Shazam chills out. He'll hang out in Palace up there, and MIBR are comfortable. They'll take the lead. The, the, uh, this back and forth game, it, it started like this. The first four rounds went back and forth, and then we start to see teams get some momentum, but it's quickly uh, evaporated, and then it'll go one way or the other. I, I wouldn't doubt it if we end up with another 8 7. Yeah, MIBR definitely seem to be pulling away with a little bit of momentum here as we move towards the end of this first half. Complexity is still showing signs of life, however. As Stanislaw does get taken down, we will be moving into a complexity by now. But what are they going to be able to do with it? Can they tie this one up, or will MIBR move two rounds ahead? Well, this isn't the best buy either. They're going to they're going deep into it. Yep. They get the augs, so that will cost them a grenade or two, uh, rather than the M4s. And they settle in for the long haul or really what could be a shorter haul if you don't have that much utility. There's one incendiary grenade for complexity. They've got four smokes. Shazam's going to try and make some magic happen. He misses the jump onto the scaffolding in mid. This might be a mi MIBR rush into Very fast. B site. They're throwing the utility in. Yeah, he's got a Molotov in there, and it's done a lot of good damage, but he himself is beginning to burn. He's now coughing in the smoke as grenades start to ring in. Phelps is on the site, but he has been locked out. Knocked out of it as the jump cross right there from death at least keeps complexity in the ballpark of this. We've seen them save in situations where they didn't have presence on the site, but they are close enough in the neighborhood to make an effort. Especially with this player on Cad and Shazam, they're doing some great damage as well. Now you're going to see Fur very low fallen as well as Cold Zera. Complexity can retake this. Shazam saw the boost into the ninja box. So they should have. Stanislaw doesn't seem to be respecting it right now, so there's going to be a little bit of a surprise. Oh, they've actually caught him out anyways. Oh. Taco's pulled out of the bench, and it's Cold Zero, last man standing, 1v2. They have to get in here and find him, and he swings out on the window, trying to stay in cover from the player that would jump instead over towards the van, take that first fight immediately. Bomb will be defused, and Complexity are right back into the swing of things. Seven all. Yeah, recovering that double op setup as well. Complexity, that's a great retake out of them. Yeah, it might have costed them quite a few lives, only coming out of that with two people surviving when they started that retake off with four. But nonetheless, as we move into the final round of this first half, it's all tied up seven apiece. And this is the deciding round for who's going to take that lead going well, into the second. Just like it was on Dust 2, right? It was MIBR that had won the half, quote unquote. They had the harder side. Yep. And they ended up managing to get more than you would get on average. Uh, so they've done that, and if they get the eighth round, it's just icing on the cake. Nice grenade by Death. That'll, that'll hurt Cold Zera. He's out for the remainder of the half. It'll be a four on four. Stanislaw advanced into top mid right now. It's actually safe from the player that was underpass, being Fur, until Fur swings out a little bit wider to be traded back and forth, back and forth. But Complexity just now holding the man advantage as he picked up that last player towards the A site palace. Yeah, it does look like we have Ye aggressed on Catwalk. So the B bomb site through the palace area, or through that B apartments area, is going to be open for business. Ye concentrating towards Connector now, giving the opportunity for MIBR to progress out that B halls and into the site uncontested. There's almost nothing that's been really coordinated on this round. It's been a little bit of chaos. That's what happens when the CTs play a little aggressive into mid. It's been, it was spotted that there was mid-aggression from the CT side, so MIBR tried to push in through Palace into the A site, see if they could capitalize on that. They lost that fight, but they ended up getting trades in mid. It's been chaos in the pit. Now Ye spots that it is an A strike, and he threads one right through the backside of Fallen that's bombed down, and Fur would have to clutch this one out. I doubt that he can manage this one. He spots Ye, he'll take the first fight, but then <laughs> realizes that Def is knocking on the door. Bomb is absolute dead center in the site. He has to cross every angle just to touch it. He needs to take a fight before he can think about doing step two on this, and wisely will just try and take a fight against Ye. Does not get his first shot on target. 8-7 to complexity.
Yeah, moving on to the T side, though, I feel like they're going to be hard-pressed to actually find success here. MIBR, th their CT side of Mirage is fairly strong. They can definitely pull this one off, but for complexity, they got to take this pistol round. they got to run with it, they got to pick up that first gun round to get into a comfortable yeah. position. Yeah, they need a little bit of a handicap as uh, they start into that second half to try and recover that strong first half from MIBR. So this is it. This is the third map between complexity and MIBR, the second half. It's the decider. So stick around, we've got a lot of action coming for you between Complexity and MIBR. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pro League. MIBR versus Complexity, the first half plays out. And these, uh, these numbers for KD are interesting. Look at, uh, it's actually Complexity's side of things, they're swapped, but it's one kill that separates all five players on Complexity's end. But it was MIBR that had a stronger showing, I feel, on their T side, since this is a CT sided map. It's another 8-7, just like we saw Phelps. with Dust2. Phelps and Fallen absolutely decimating it there on that pistol round, leaving only Death, a very quick pistol round coming out from MIBR now as Death tries to make something happen for the complexity side, but without armor, should be taken down very quickly yeah. there as Taco does end the round, and MIBR tie it up. Eight apiece. Right into it. I don't know if the pistol round would have too much effect on this game. It really is going to come down to the third or fourth, depending on if there's a force buy on this round for yeah. complexity, which there is. So I want to see the rifles come online as early as possible, especially from complexity here. This has been an absolute bout between both teams. It's been messy. It's been sloppy. Both teams stealing away rounds that they had disadvantages in. And now we see ourselves in another force buy, which complexity have been relatively successful successful with on second rounders. 
All right, looking at the round right now, Complexity will be favoring a couple players towards that upper B area, one going towards underpass, as well as few towards middle now to take control of that. It does look like MIBR in response will be playing a passive middle setup, not going too aggressively towards anything. We will have Fur watching for this window boost, however. Yeah, that scout from Fallen. Fallen's actually had a pretty quiet game. It's impressive that the rest of the team was able to stand up, the likes of Phelps and Cold Zero, and especially Taco, who's top fragging right now in the server, to make that first half as it was. But I think Def actually spotted Taco there. Nice double peek from Cold and Taco. They spot, they fall. They didn't see anything. It's going to allow Def to get in sneaky beaky, depending on the, the timing. Oh, but the jump peek from Taco. Now Def is just deciding to call it quits. He'll cut bait and run off. But the reason why I was talking, I was mentioning Fallen's been quiet is because it's been such a back and forth game. We yeah. never really got to see the ops come alive. Does look like with the 40 second mark passing on the clock, Complexity will be heading towards this upper B area on the map as Stanislaw gets taken down by Fur. That's going to be our first kill of the round now. And what will Complexity do off of this? Looking for the window boost now. Fur not wavering from this area. Able to take down Sick. He does get dropped to 10 HP, however. But that's going to give away the positioning of Death. Yeah, he'll and now be. these final two members towards Upper B. Fur will be fine. He'll be able to back off from that window position. Actually, it manages to fall back into the correct angle here towards the B site. Shazam! Oh, Shazam. Nice yay. dig and yay! Hey, you got yourself a bomb plant. Fur, as wounded as he may be, though, stops this right in its tracks. And Shazam would... Oh, Shazam. goodness. Does he end up with his miracle deagle. Blaze oh managed to pull it into a 1v1. Goodness. Fallen, who's been a clutch machine earlier today on overpass, is up against Shazam. The Opper versus the Opper, but it's Fallen that manages to ring true. Shazam making some magic happen with that deagle. That was a great effort out of him. The first kill especially to get into that B bomb site. Then going ahead, taking a player by market, swinging back, taking down the third player by catwalk. Unfortunately, not able to close the round out on Fallen as Fallen is able to keep MIBR in the lead here, getting their ninth. Man, those, those force buys from Complexity. You can see this from Shazam. He's just managing to clip the domes of everybody in front of him. And he actually had a couple opportunities here on that last one against Fallen. He spammed, he fired, and the first shot didn't hit. So, I mean, he's just fired through. And luckily enough, Fallen wasn't wounded because he did catch a 50 cal to the chest and ended up surviving that. Yeah. So, MIBR were able to get past that difficult second round as it's been so far. And they will now have a command into this third round of the half with the lead already. Uh, being 9-8 if you're joining us on radio broadcast. Maybe you can't <laughs> see the scoreline. All right, Complexity now actually going to be favoring once again force Another buying buy. up. Yeah, they, 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 they heard you in yeah, that first in half, first right? Half. Yeah, they, like they might Complexity do it. realized MIBR having got good money going, especially because Fallen was the final member surviving in that round. So Complexity in response will be forcing up once again in hopes to break MIBR's economy, tie this game up, and then put themselves in the driver's seat for this early second half. This is uh, not quite digging your own grave, but maybe it was the bomb plant that gave them that little bit of extra cash to make them make this decision. So the next round, they should have something going for them. They got three rounds of loss bonus here, and they'll get four rounds of loss bonus. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, three rounds of loss bonus coming towards them shortly. But uh, they want to get something done here. It would just make that next round so much easier if they can manage to get three or four kills on this round. Well, let's see what they're going to be able to do here now. Complexity, they have Def positioned towards this underpass area, and we're going to see Sick just wide swinging out towards that A ramp, doing a little bit of damage to Fallen, but not, nothing more than that. And we'll be the two Complexity players progressing through underpass now, looking for a little bit of a double boost, most likely, I can imagine. Well, Sick has, has peeked out multiple times and has actually created some aggravation in the A site so that these two guys, Def and Stanislaw, can actually get into a window boost, possibly. So Sick, he's done some damage, and he's still doing damage. Fallen knocked down to 40 HP. Yeah, he's down and out. Oh, but Cold Zera, he's holding this window boost. Well-timed. You've got yourself one kill so far. I said that you need to get at least three or four. There's the second, and now you have a pretty good chance, especially with Shazam's Deagle still popping off. Now it's up to Sick. Just needs to get one kill to make this next round uh, a much easier tap-in for Complexity, who are still looking to get their first round on the board. Well, in the Sick can half. do more than that here as he moves in towards this B bomb site, Dallas. If he can take down Taco and get the plant, he's done a great job within this round. He's going to be clearing out the Ska pillar right now. Oh, actually Dallas doesn't. Goes, goes right for the plant. That should be him going down as Taco does end the round. 
MIB are now finding their feet, gathering their laurels, coming out really strong here in this early half. That's going to prompt complexity now on this buy to put the op on the back of Shazam. And in response, actually, MIBR will not have one in their play, though. Yeah, that's uh, so Shazam actually had a stronger first half than Fallen did. I can agree so, with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, the stats sure. don't lie. And right? now he, even his second half right now is starting to look pretty promising, too, with the Desert Eagle. But now he's got a little bit more accuracy with the uh, the op, a little bit more damage up here, too. So it'll be up to Shazam to pop off the first couple players if he can. He's up in the palace right now. He's just behind Ye, and it looks to be like it's going to be an A hit. Stanislaw is your player that was in mid. He's actually going back to the B apartments. He could come in the underpass, but probably late unless Complexity are really just going to sit still, which they are absolutely not. It'll be a late lurk coming in from Stanislaw. Meanwhile, the frontliners trading one for one. Fur in a really awkward spot. He looks back behind him to look for this lurk, but it still remains. Stanislaw is keeping Coldzera on this B side all the while, but still the front end with oh, Fur getting two kills and putting the bomb down. So that, that will allow Coldzera to leave the site fairly comfortably of this B end, but Stanislaw drops in. And now the MIBR recognize that it's a split push. Okay, Stanislaw and Shazam right now. Stanislaw will be falling in towards that B bomb site. It will live only Shazam now to make something happen for his team. Really hard pressed in the situation to get it going. He will wow, be able to take flank. down Fallen. That was a great shot out of him. But we do have a flank coming in. So if Shazam doesn't pick up the pace here, we're going to see Cold Zero actually flank through that T spawn and find a very easy kill. Oh, they've actually painted him into A main right now. There's nowhere for him to go. Another good shot. Taco hit for 70 damage from that one. But Shazam still doesn't have the bomb. 25 seconds, too. And they may have heard him fall back because you saw immediately that Cold Zero kind of stepped down the ramp. But instead, reaggresses back up and catches him in progress of retreating to try and save the rifle or save the op into the next. Instead, it's not to be. MIBR are able to get past that first rifle round from complexity fairly cleanly. All right. Looking at this round now, complexity. Uh. We'll be going on to that save. Just a couple of pistols there on the field for them. Not much else going on. And really, in that round there, we we thought Complexity was going to find some success early on, but really it came down to Fur, who takes it on himself there, swinging out from Connector, coming across towards that triple, able to pick up two kills and keep that sight in MIBR's possession. So it could be another A hit for Complexity. They are setting up for some smokes. They've got enough cash on their loss bonus to be able to afford something like this. But they want another bomb plant. Just need that little bit of extra. Smokes into the ticket booth. Smoke smokes all the way up towards the triple box. But there's still an angle in there for Phelps. And now Fallen to get up on top of this one. I have a top-down field of view. Stanislaw jumps in, tries to make it into the ticket booth, and trying to get all the way back towards Fallen's op. Phelps with a 4K on the round is able to stop any kind of bomb plant coming in there from complexity. This is where it starts getting scary for the complexity side. Now, as MIBR near closer to that 15th round, only three rounds away right now, complexity have their work cut out for them. Not only do they need to take this round, but they need to take the following one to break MIBR's money and get themselves involved into this game. The Ops are on the field, and in fact, MIBR will be favoring that double Ops setup here. So look for them to maybe get aggressive towards those B tunnels very early on. It does look like Taco will be favoring that with his AWP. Yeah, and Fallen just chews on a grenade in mid right now. But it's an Op, so don't necessarily need to be the healthiest player. And shows just that. That one just cuts Shazam in half. And you've got the man advantage for MIBR, who are still looking perfect on their CT side. It was 8-7 to start off the half, but since then, it's just been a run, a streak for MIBR as they now hold the lead of four. Furt, he's been up here. This is a spot that Coldzera was in before. He's actually in the in the ladder room, up in the vent spot of that one. Yep. But he loses his life, not as successful as Coldzera was before. Now a little bit of a boost from the complexity side to see any more information towards Cat of anybody being aggressed. MIBR will be going into a little bit more of a passive play as you're going to see Fallen rotate around to that very strong spot in Ticket Booth with that AWP. Phelps does take down Death, but the Execute has come in and a site is being attacked. Almost lost Sick up there with a grenade in hand as well. He almost lost two players on that, but there's the entry. Sick and Stanislaw doing perfect. Now they hold the man advantage. They've earned what? it, but it's coming right back. The Molly doesn't land and burn now Cold Zero. He transfers from one almost to the next. It'll be another 1v1. This time Fallen. There's no bomb plant yet either. And he may have actually shown that uh, audibly that he's been here at Ticket Booth side. Yeah. So he settles down. And Ye will plant the bomb on the 
side of the triple box while Fallen moves this direction as well. Still Ye thinking committed that he's over here on the ticket booth side. Ye getting very aggressive towards ticket booth. Now this is a great decision out of him. Clearing it out, taking the chance now, moving into CT spawn. Risky as Fallen, plays. no kid in hand, will be just straight up tapping. Okay, I thought he was going to stick the defuse. But he's wow. able to take down Ye. Doesn't even matter. Fallen will get MIBR their 13th round off of some great repositioning there to kind of create a little bit of a confusion within Ye, unsure about where yeah. he should play. Well, I mean, Fallen's clutches tonight on the first and now third map have been yeah. lights out. I yep. mean, the dude has, he's been clutching as well as what you would expect with Cold Zera. This is, this was huge out of Cold Zero. First he gets that kill through the smoke, and then he does quite a bit of damage, picks up Sick, who actually wasn't his initial target, and then almost finished up on that third kill, just runs out of ammo on that AUG, turns it into a 1v1 for Fallen against Ye. Fallen, the legend himself, able to close it out, and MIBR move on to 13, as complexity now, with five AKs, try to get their ninth on the board. Yeah, they should be able to rattle off quite a few bullets downrange. Hopefully they can manage to get some, some kills. I think Complexity just need to have a dominant entry. They need to get like a two for nil or a, or a three for one or something like that. They need the two-man advantage to, to put a, a bad look at MIBR's retake. They really need to dominate this opener. The scary part about this round so far, though, is MIBR have aggressed through those B tunnels. You're actually going to see Cold Zero positioned right where Ye was during that Mag 7 round, while the rest of the MIBR side is going to be patiently waiting by this connector. Oh, the connector plays about to happen. Fur's not able to look down and left in time. He wanted to give some respect into top mid, but with no smoke and connector, which is awkward, Fallen. he's giving Fallen the widest of angles. Oh my goodness. It's a piece of cake for him. Sick at range is able to put the man down, but that really just really deflates your attack into this B site. You need to have that connector smoke. I feel it was just a missed and overlooked opportunity for Complexity to get there. Cold Zera has Stanislaw. He'll just keep him as a pet for right now and looking for that last player sick, which is still a big question mark. Yeah, he's calling this out to his teammates, letting them know, hey, one's towards the end of B tunnels. Stanislaw has why's, no idea what's Phelps going on right now. towards the A site. Maybe, maybe thinking that maybe they're playing in the There might be a where, lurk, right, at yeah, the same yeah. time going up Cat. So that's what Phelps was watching. Oh, well Cold Zero able to take down Sick as well. 14 to 8 is our scoreline. Great little trigger discipline out of Cold Zero there, ensuring that at least he can communicate to his teammates what's happening on the map. And he's going to end up with two frags on that yeah. round. They knew that they had that, that round completely won at that point. So you're right. Just keeping Phelps just sitting still on the A side in case there was a lurk to catch well, he was in a, rotation. I do believe, I could be wrong, but I do believe Phelps was just watching Catwalk from the A bomb could site, be, right? Yeah. Okay. Just watching anybody going up that Catwalk. He was going to pick up an easy frag if somebody did. But it's going to be Cold Zero taking down the two members of Complexity there to put MIBR within two of taking this third map and the series. Yeah, and the door is starting to close on Complexity. So really what it comes down to is that Complexity don't win this map and win this series because of it. They have no chance going into the, uh, the playoffs or into the next stage. MIBR, if they win this, they would uh, mimic that of the Renegades' path at being 2-0, and it'd be a contest tomorrow in the best of three to see who goes to France. And remember, for those of you who are unsure, there are two groups here. Yep, and one but team only, out of each group. Yeah, one team out of each group will be making it. So although there are some very high-skilled teams, only one is going to make it out. Yeah, and I would say this group is uh, the heavier hitters than, this, than the Group B. Lineup from Phelps. Can he get the spray under control? He's done a lot of damage towards Stanislaw, who repeats this out. Flashbang gives a lot of time for Stanislaw, but he can't seem to kind of put the sandwich together. Def jumps and is skewered by Fallen. MIBR find themselves at the precipice of victory, 15 to 8. Almost yeah. identical to what was going on on uh, the first map of, of Dust 2, where it started out, it was like 8-7, it kind of went back and forth a bit, but then MIBR so, just ran away. Yeah, what you saw from Complexity there, they were going for a little surprise burst out of the Halls area. Unfortunately, they didn't keep an eye on Phelps' position towards Sandwich. Both players jumping out Halls, Phelps able to capitalize on that, gets himself two kills, the rotations are coming in as well, Fallen chimes in with an op kill of his own. Complexity, before they even really see any CTs or get into a position where they can fight them, are already down two men in that position. Okay, this could be it. Oh, some good damage coming out from Fallen yeah, there. Legs Stannis out there, and Ye as well took a lot of damage 
in the trade against Fur, but that's worth it until Fallen just knocks off your top fragger on Complexity side, top fragger, quote unquote, at the at the end of the first half, one kill separated all players of Complexity, and at this point, at this point in the half, it's two kills that separates all five of Complexity. But now it's starting to get a little bit out of control. Man advantage for MIBR, make it even more so. Def and Stanislaw, hopes so low. and dreams, and yes, they are absolutely alone. Stanislaw now has made his way out towards this B platform as Death does he take go. down Fallen. Stanislaw takes down Cold Zero, and this round is back to life for Complexity as Death what? also takes down Taco. This round is turned on its head. Phelps, the final member to make this happen. You're outnumbered by two players, and then suddenly you're in a two to one advantage. There's not much Phelps, Phelps can really save, do here. Yeah. yeah, just save. The game is going to be extended. A little bit longer. Yeah, I mean, in Phelps' position here, what's more worth it? Keeping that up, bringing it into the next round, or going for it and then having to save or maybe not getting as strong of a buy as you would like? Because looking at the money right now, Phelps sitting at 2.5, Colzera at 2.2, Fallen sitting at 3.6, Fur and Taco, yeah, they can buy up no problem. But the rest of the MIBR squad is really struggling for money. So a great decision out of Phelps not to force the issue here, give complexity the round, but really... Shout out to Def and Stanislaw, yeah. against all odds within that round, able to pull this one back. And wounded as they were. It only took one or two bullets from anybody from MIBR, and it would have ended one of their lives. Yep. And if you lose one of those players, suddenly it's uh, it's a retake, or it's the yep. bomb never makes it to the site, or something like that. Uh, but with the money that you were talking about being in a couple of the players' hands in MIBR's side, they are going to go for a, a buy. They here. are going to go They're for the buy. They're going to purchase this. I was thinking maybe they just share some of the love with a pistol here. Well, if there, Phelps no. didn't save that round, yeah, they probably would have done maybe a little bit of a pistol buy. But because Phelps was able to drop a gun off to Fallen and the AWP, in fact, Fallen is able to drop a weapon over towards Phelps and get that AUG into his hand. So it works out for the MIBR side in this situation to actually buy up and try and end this right now. And still, it's still all for one and one for all for complexity. They're back down to one kill, separates the entire team. That's nuts. Crazy after we've played 24 and into the 25th round. So it's a 4-1 split as the players are even further divided. The bomb at the A main as three players go up towards Palace. Stanislaw doing the same thing as he does in top mid anyway, making sure that MIBR respect that there's some kind of mid presence one way or the other. But a dry peek into A, and suddenly Ye is in and out. He's got the first two kills, and with the guns as they may be, MIBR might be in another spot if they don't get a kill instantaneously here that they think about another save. Yeah, it does look like MIBR actually will be going for the save. Colzer is still towards this ticket booth area in CT spawn, able to take down Def, and that's actually yeah. an op that's going to be recovered. Yeah, thanks for that. He'll throw the Molotov. He needs to just make some space for himself. Yeah, that smoke is <laughs> definitely intended just so that he could comfortably pick this up. And now it's going to be a full evacuation. Double op for MIBR on the CT side is definitely something they could work with. That should work out just fine and dandy. Still a long road for complexity, though. Okay, Complexity now hitting double digits here. Like you said, still a long road for them. But overall, that was a nice little burst onto that A bomb site, going back to the strat that initially didn't work for them in a previous round here. They're going to be favoring that once again, capitalizing on MIBR. They're going to catch Fallen off in the middle of the site. The player under balcony unable to do much either as Ye is going to get a double on the round. And Complexity pick up a very clean 10th round in the process. Boom. That'll work just fine for them, especially the gift uh, MIBR at the end of the round. They're happy with that, more than happy, because yeah. they've got plenty of opportunities just to put this one away. And really, it should have been put away two rounds ago when it was a 4-2 to two advantage against wounded complexity players. But <laughs> hey, man, take him as you get him. Complexity fighting like a caged animal right now. Your defense with that double off. We see Colt Zara holding his off on Catwalk. Taco is at the B site, but it seems like he's been mollied off of this platform, and he'll just go back behind the pillars and chill out. Same strategy as usual, Stanislaw doing his solo thing over towards the mid side while the rest of the players are set up at A. Yeah, it does look like Complexity will be consolidating their efforts towards this A bomb site. A little bit of a lurk coming out from Stanislaw, but yeah, it does look like MIBR will be holding back this A attack here momentarily. Yeah, Phelps can see the shadows of the grenades coming in and all of these bouncing off in from Palace. A nice Molotov will cover his rear flank and another one out in front of him. He can actually start to focus on this first one that's going to extinguish. He'll park, look for the flashbang. Point blank range though. Sick is able to pick up that kill and this is a really strong angle for the CT side from Fur. You won't be able to stop the bomb being planted if it were to go to default position, but I'm surprised Complexity haven't really planted this bomb yet. Those smokes are going to be fading real soon and that bomb is 
Still not down yet. Yeah, the smokes are now fading first, still by the stair position. Like you mentioned, a very strong position above those smokes, but now they've faded. Complexity just looking for any overextension from any CTs they might find. Stanislaw getting ready to come out nice towards flash. middle. The flash over by stairs. They're actually not going to overextend it, though. That's the thing. They don't have utility to block off jungle, so they don't want to overaggress and try and get for out of these stairs. Two for one. There's the opportunity Complexity was looking for, but it's turned right back around, and there's the bomb. Dead center in Cold Zera's scope right now, but a beautiful flashbang. It'll be recovered and planted safely, opposite of default right now. Taco missing his shot, and this is going to be a difficult Ooh. retake no matter how you swing it. Cold Zera, though, 1v3 clutch. Could it be a beautiful work of art to close out this game? Let's see if he's able to do it now. It does look like he's going to be just taking it very slow, and Def punishes him for that. A nice headshot out of Def. Complexity onto 11 now, making this comeback real. Yeah, I would expect MIBR timeout in the next round. The next round they're going to have rifles, and complexity is starting to show that even though they're getting things done late, they can get them done, and this would be a surprise because MIBR started out this half with, what, eight rounds in a row to start out the half? Just yeah. They stopped at 15. They ran out of gas. Now they got to push it over the line. Well, I feel like MIBR is kind of in that uh, mode where they're thinking, all right, we got some rounds to play with. We don't need to, you know, close this one out right away. So maybe a little bit of looseness, maybe a little bit of unnecessary peaking that they generally wouldn't take. But because they're on the edge of victory, they're going to take those chances, right? As we see it, Sick now taking down Fur. We are going to have a five on four in favor of Complexity. Smokes are going to come down towards the A site. I believe that lands at Jungle. Coldzera, Deagle in hand at Catwalk. Most exposed player, but also the most lethal at this point. Ooh. He could see that he tried to settle that aim. He saw Shazam was there and knew that his first shot wasn't on the mark, so he just tried to take his time. Almost enough lethal damage there for Fallen, but almost not going to count enough. Even though Shazam and Ye are very, very wounded at this point, uh, the USP from Phelps isn't going to find any flesh. So 15 to 12 complexity are on a bit of a tear. Four rounds themselves in a row. All right, three rounds away from tying this one up and taking it to overtime is the complexity side. MIBR buying up into this round, spending every last dollar in hopes of closing this match out right here, right now. Can they do it, or will complexity keep it going and pull themselves within two rounds well, of making it to OT? Let's think of, let's think of the future. Uh, MIBR, <laughs> if they lose this round, they'll have one more rifle round because this will be complexity. 13 and 14 as well, uh, and then 15, 15 possibly is where the final, or the 30th round is where the final one could happen. A fast play oh. into the B site, and Taco is completely disarmed with a beautiful flashbang in there. Cold Sarah has the first, looking for the second. He tries to send three and four round bursts down range against a very narrow margin target. And Phelps, Fur, and Fallen have decided to call it quits. So instead All of committing right. themselves to this round and trying to end the game right now, like you said before, there's no rush. Take your sweet time with this and keep the guns and keep the pressure yeah. up as long as you can. Eventually, maybe the walls of complexity will crack. Yeah, complexity opting for a very fast B hit there, and Taco actually gets caught out with a nade, not expecting the T's to be to e towards the end of Palace so quickly there. And he's going to be taking down Colzera with a little bit of a lifeline as he does get the one entry onto the site, but complexity swarming very quickly onto the B bomb site, able to take him out as well. And that's going to prompt MIBR to save. And like I said, pulling complexity to within two rounds of overtime. Yeah, they're getting there. And I'm here clapping every every round that Complexity is able to piece together. They're, they're louder and louder every round. So this one looking like it could go the distance. This is going to be the decider round. If Complexity do win it, we are going to the 30th. If they don't, it ends right here, right now, and Complexity are out of the game at 0-2 in their group so far. They'd have another game tomorrow, but it'd be a virtually meaningless game at that point. Yeah. All right, another timeout coming out from MIBR here as they decide how they want to approach this round. And really, at this point, you got to imagine, if you're complexity, you're starting to feel confident about taking this one to OT. You were on the brink of losing for, I mean, quite a while here, mm -hmm. and now you've brought it all the way back. MIBR now, you got to imagine, they're just waiting, trying to understand how they can close this one out. I mean, think about it, too. Five rounds ago, it was 4-2 to two advantage in MIBR's hands. Yeah, that was a to, huge round. To end the game right there. So yep. complexity was on the absolute narrowest margin. Just on the cusp. They needed a they needed a comeback in that round, and then they needed a lasting comeback every round after that to stay afloat. 
Alright, it does look like complexity. Very heavy towards this underpass area, not even creating any B presence. Do imagine they might be looking for a boost, most likely looking for that connector split, but Fallen now taking down Shazam will give MIBR the opportunity in this man advantage to close this one out. They've got a pretty good pinch too to punish this. So first spot's two players there. Fallen can help him out, and they've got Cold Zero that's up in this this uh, vent position in the ladder room, but he's down. I thought that the little pinch from MIBR may have been just enough. Complexity do not need to bite on this right now, though. But look at this awkward spot. That's the bomb from Stanislaw. He had virtually isolated himself. I was hoping that Complexity would be able to back off, but now they have to really sink their teeth into the A site. Outnumbered by one player. Bomb control is there, and you even see the anchor. Taco has come off of that B site. He's going to be coming from underneath through underpass to catch any kind of remaining players in the back. This is where it gets very scary well, now. Is in, for Def is in window room. Yeah, that's that's the part that I'm concerned about now. Def can lurk out. He could pick off this player towards the under balcony area, or maybe even a rotation here coming out towards jungle. It's all up to him. He's now stomping around, but he's just oh. walked right into fur. A flashbang was there, and the next two kills instantaneous. MIBR are victorious. A great little spurt from complexity to get themselves five rounds in a row, especially when their backs are against the wall, but it's just not 